Hey, what's up, guys? It's Danny Awesome here, and I'm here today to bring you guys like a kind of a rant video. This well, was really not a rant video. I'm just gonna basically be talking about, do you know the Vikings thing that's on Xbox Live? It's like I think like this weekend they're probably not gonna have it next weekend. I don't know. It's probably just gonna be based on this weekend. So I'm gonna try to watch as much as I can. But the show I'm talking about is the show Vikings. Now. I don't know whether this comes on HBO or Showtime or Cinemax or whatever kind of satellite channel that I don't have it comes on. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this episode it was it was it was really good. I liked it. It was um, basically the episode started out. It was uh, this guy, which I forget his name, but he was like he's like the main character. And he's fighting, it's like like the aftermath of a battle or something. And they're, he's fighting these guys in, in this field. And he's fighting with one other guy, it's just him and one other guy. They're fighting in this field. So he's fighting, you know, stabbing dudes left and right. Then, then the other guy he's fighting with, both of them like stab everybody up, you know, kill them. Ugh. You know, and then, then they hug and I'm like kind of what kind of show am I watching but really it turns out that they're brothers now the whole entire like basis around this particular particular episode is I think it's episode one I'm not too sure what episode it is I just dive right in it but I could probably research and find out if it's episode one or not and I'll probably have something to show you guys if it is but if it isn't okay well the whole particular basis around this episode was it's that um, this guy, you know, the guy that was in the field at first, I, I forget his name. I think it's, and I think it's some Viking name. I don't want to be a racist, but I think it's like Olaf or something like that. I, I really don't know. But he, he and his brother and his son, his son, oh yeah, his son is in this, um, this episode a little bit too, but he's not really like, yeah, in this episode, he's just like sprinkled around in this episode, you know, they show him becoming a man or whatever. And him, his his son, his brother, is all trying to like go west and see and see what new riches lay before them. Now, their king, well well, yeah, you can call him their king, but they really call him their lord. Their lord doesn't want them to go west because I think he knows what is west, but he just can't get it. He just can't get it. He has no access to it, or he is somewhat scared to even go across those waters and try to get it. But they want to go west and try to find new riches and new land and new things and new people and talking about trying to see other people in their new god or whatever and stuff like that and. Uh, I'm just like, well, yeah, 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 whatever, whatever, whatever. I don't really care about that, but it's kind of cool. And, um, the whole episode is just based around them trying to, him trying to find this right guy, uh, trying to find a right guy named uh, Floki, like you know the god, the god Loki in Viking mythology, uh, but his name is Floki. So they're trying to find this guy Floki to build them a boat so they can go west. And eventually, towards the end of the towards the end of the episode, they do find the guy Floki, and the guy Floki builds them. You know, he's some kind of weird guy that can like look at a tree and say, "Oh my God, that tree!" Slice it down because he he got a nice bend to it. I'm like, this, what is he talking about? But it's actually pretty good. You know, he builds them this huge this huge boat and I think about in a day and I don't even know how they even built it that fast how that guy even built it that fast because that guy Floki was the only guy and he wasn't big or strong at all you know how like those old war movies like they had like them it's like the crackhead back then that's how he was but he was like really crazy or whatever and but he really knew knew, knew what he was doing with boats and stuff so you know uh, finally, towards the end of the end of the episode, they get the boat built. Then they get on the water, try to test it out, and the boat runs smoothly. And then the episode ends. And my overall rating for this episode, if, say I like one to five, zero to five, 
It was pretty good. It was pretty good. I, I said it was like a 4.5 out of 5. The only part I didn't like was, <clears throat> was like, I only got a little bit of action and then a lot of dialogue. Like, if they was going to start out in a war scene, they should have just had us see the whole war. Like, well, in the battle, battle, battle scene. <clears throat> Excuse me. From the beginning, they should have just had us see the whole battle. Or at least, like, halfway to the end of the battle, they just, hey, here goes a guy stabbing a bunch of guys, and which everybody else was already dead, but it was just him and his brother was just stabbing a bunch of guys, and then, boom, that lasts for about, I say, probably 30 seconds, and then that was it, which is not long at all, man. When you're watching a show or a movie or something, 30 seconds go by like that. So I'm just, I'm just like, what's going on, man? But... This episode was pretty good. Oh yeah, what well, I forgot. It's like during the episode, he kept seeing like this this shadowy figure come and take souls up to Beelzebub. Beelzebub is the heaven for Vikings. If you die in if you die in a battle, like the that soul spirit, whatever, comes and takes you up into this it's up to the heavens, up into Beelzebub where the Vikings go. You know. It's, it's too complicated for me, man. I don't know Viking mythology, but let me know what you guys think. Have you guys seen this on Xbox Live? Let me tell me. And if you did, if you did, that would be awesome. But I'm out. Peace.